Oh boy, the Speed Gamers are having a marathon on one of my most hated game series. Yeah, Mega Man. I vowed not to make a video on this series before because, you know, I don't like to make game videos on games that I don't like. But, as an exception for charity, I suppose I could do so. But, you know, I, I suppose it's not nearly as bad as Majora's Mask. Ugh. Ugh, my hand! It burns! Now I have to put this thing away somehow. Ah, that's using the old noodle. Oh boy, here we go. <sighs> anyway, the Speed Gamers will be playing for the Rockin' H Ranch starting March 8th at 6 p.m., running through March 11th for a total of 72 hours. Uh, the Rockin' H Ranch is a place that has helped them quite a bit in their past marathons, which is why they are doing this, you know, to pay them back a little bit. And uh, uh, because they are also a charity in themselves, you know, the Rockin' Rage. Uh, Rock and H Ranch also does stuff for charity themselves. You can read more about them in, and the Speed Gamers in the video description below. Now, let's see how far I can get in one of these games. Uh, I should say just one of these levels. <sighs> it's for charity, PK Gam. You can do it. You can. Play at least a little bit of this. Oh god, all these stages are badly designed. Uh, I'll just pick one at random. I'm closing my eyes here. And I got Guts Man stage! Oh, this is not gonna go very well. So this is being played on the Mega Man Anniversary Collection thingy here. Believe it or not, the B button is jump, and the A button is fire. So it's kind of weird like that, but it, it works okay, I suppose. Oh, jeez. Nah. The enemies in Mega Man games are kind of annoying, and I forgot that's a platform that comes to you. That was my fault. <laughs> because the enemies, as well as the level design, they, they're in, in such a way that they love to trap you. <laughs> that's just how things work in Mega Man games. Yeah, anyway, let's wait for the platform this time, and these platforms... Oh, God, are they annoying. Whenever they come to a little flip section in the middle, they fall down. I was too close to the edge, apparently, and by the way, you drop like a rock in Mega Man games, in case you didn't realize that. <laughs> the, the games control pretty well, it's just... The level design is not all that good. I've beat this game before, and I really jumped the gun there. <laughs> I really jumped the gun there, and I seen the uh, uh, platform coming. And it's not like that I'm bad at side-scrollers. I mean, you've seen me play side-scrollers before. It's just that... Dear Lord! <laughs> you have no idea how Mega Man games are unless you've played one before. Alright, whoops. Be patient this time. But clearly, I am not in the mood to play Mega Man because I don't like Mega Man, so that kind of gives you an idea of why I wouldn't be in the mood to play Mega Man. <laughs> oh god! And I need to carefully jump. Oh jeez! It's kind of hard to get the feel of those platforms because when it's when the left edge touches one of those holes that the platform drops out. Come on, there we go. Then you have to go through all this stuff again. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure people in the comments are gonna be like, Oh, it's just because you suck. No! No, stop! It's just that you have to memorize so much stuff in Mega Man games. It's like if you were jumping on this platform down here and you didn't know it was going to collapse as it goes over one of these holes, how exactly would you be able to prepare for that? It's, it's that sort of thing. You have to keep learning all this stuff. Oh god, I actually made it somewhere. And I forgot these enemies jump down towards you. Oh. Come on, just, there we go. Stop spawning. <laughs> and the enemies just, they couldn't make them any more annoying if they tried. Thank you for the health. <laughs> yeah, 
Eh, they stop throwing your pickaxes. You are not a hammer bro. Actually, you're kind of worse than the modern day hammer bros. <laughs> not as bad as the Mario ones though. Those, those are the worst kinds of hammer bros. It spikes are instant kill in Mega Man games. I'm tired of you guys already. <laughs> not the spikes. I'm talking. Oh god, those guys. I don't know if I want to go all the way to the. Oh, you guys go up too. I don't know if I want to go all the way to the left side or not. Maybe I did, maybe I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the stage- Oh god, memorized! <laughs> lovely, level design, isn't it? And I was holding left as soon as I seen those spikes, so I was pressing left as the, at the earliest possible time I could. So it was, it was not like I, could, I wasn't prepared for the spikes, but it, the fact that I dropped like a rock, that I fell into the spikes so easily. And I, I think I'm getting close to the end of the stage. I hate these things because they take so many hits and you never know when they're going to do a high jump or a low jump. And yes, I actually reached the boss. But will I actually manage to be able to beat Gutsman? Probably not. Oh wait, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't get to the boss just yet. Kill these freaking things. Oh, there we go. Boss, boss, thank you. Oh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> I can tell you it already. Oh yeah, he causes earthquakes. And that whenever those rocks hit a wall, it's like a scatter shot as well. Yeah. Crappers, how do you manage to get around this sucker? <laughs> I can't even manage to recover. <laughs> like seriously. And when you game over, you go all the way back to the start of the stage, which is a classic thing in older games, but considering the difficulty of these stages, it's not really all that fun to have to play them from the beginning, so... I'm done.